enhancing commercialization of research products uh, has been on the table for such a long time, and yet it has been elusive to the, the science community at large, particularly in, in Africa. Now, so far as strategy uh, has been to deepen the application of science as an input to our culture transformation. And, and why do we focus on that? Oftentimes, when we talk about deepening the application of science as encapsulated in our science agenda, we, we jump quickly to look at the science itself or the products themselves. The products or the science are the means to an end. The end is to get the transformation and to, of course, achieve uh, lowering poverty or eradicating poverty. It means that we are not so worried about the science itself. Well, the science is available. The important thing that has been elusive is the institutional changes that must accompany the science in order to commercialize uh, the science. The processes sometimes, the institutional or the innovative processes are sometimes even available. But what has been difficult um, actually um, is the changes that we have to make from public sector, private sector, across board. Those institutional reforms and changes that should accompany the very credible technologies and the innovations that we have put on the table has been the main bane to our underachievements when it comes to commercialization of science. Under pillar four, and you are aware that FARA was the lead pillar institution, we had uh, taken the advantage to bring this effort uh, together. And so we were excited to be part of the Feed Africa um, initiative that AFDB uh, put on the table, that we will support this uh, through and through with some of the experiences that we have gained over the period, particularly when it came to the institutional um, innovations that will help the technology delivery infrastructure that TAT so much wants to put on uh, put across to ensure that the proven technologies across a number of value chains reach the end user, which is the ultimate uh, aim. So this set of webinars as um, launched by Dr. Chiano himself last month, I brought to the four critical points that I feel um, underpinned the objectives of the set of webinars that Farah has, and partners, of course, uh, together with the SROs and, and AFAS, and I see Samson playing a key role here, have put together to discuss and, as it were, find the important processes that will help us to strengthen these institutional elements. Our experience across board from technology generation through to getting the impact of bringing it to end users will therefore be very critical uh, in this discussion. And, and I think Farah and Afas and our SROs uh, around the table will help to bring the key issues that relate to agriculture transformation to bear. But capacity development is not only about training individuals. I recall that as we were putting the document uh, of TAT together, the component of capacity uh, was very highly debated because oftentimes we quickly think capacity is just about training of the individuals. If it were, over the, the 30 years or nearly half a century of training individuals uh, across board, uh, we would have gotten somewhere. 
That is not to say that training individuals is not important. It is important. It is an important ingredient, but it doesn't, uh, it's not enough. We need to really see the institutional and the enabling structures within which these individuals operate and within which we are able to create the, the, the changes that we want. So the institutional dimensions are hugely important, albeit very difficult. So oftentimes we run to look at training. The difficult part of it is the institutional reform, the enabling environment, the, the institutionalization of the processes that work. In Africa, we have many technologies and processes that work, but they are sporadic. They, they, they are very, uh, they are not able to um, make the change we require because we say we have not brought them to scale. We have not brought them to the end user, but how do you bring them to scale if the institutional and enabling processes are not in place? So for me, this discussion and across the series of uh, webinars, it should be about how do we institutionalize the processes that we know have worked. The proven technologies are there. We have huge custodians of these technologies, but what are the processes to carry them through to the end user? And how do we make them sustainable? Those are the issues that we need to be discussing and finding important ways uh, to bringing about agriculture transformation. The private sector, public sector uh, discourse has also been um, an area that we've, we've, we've grappled with because of course the, 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 the interplay or the, the, the dynamic between private sector and public sector has not been easy. How do we ensure that public sector plays its role to enable private sector to also take it from that end and play its role? So we have the processes, but I tell you, the agenda of the science that the African Union um, approved to help its um, business plan for Malabo is about reforms. It's about institutional st uh, strengthening. It's about creating the enabling environment. What are those processes? How do we just make them happen? Commercializing technologies, how, what are the processes that will help us commercialize the processes? And how do we scale? What are the scalability dimensions that should be discussed and brought to bear? It is talking about scaling, it's not just straightforward. It's not everything that's scalable. But so the issues about institutional changes that must happen for us to bring these proven technologies to scale is, um, is critical in this discussion. I'm excited that we are focusing now uh, on another product that is dear to me, livestock and, and high iron beans. I'm sure that that will give us a, a good example to bring to the fore um, elements that are relevant to attaining um, real transformation around this value chain. So the Z Forum, I think is, is apt is important and uh, we need to discuss all those um, elements that will bring our technologies um, to the end user and make sure that we are getting sustainable outreach programs uh, that will help us uh, move the Feed Africa agenda forward. So um, ladies, gentlemen, I am happy to be part of this, as I said, and I welcome all of you to this very important discussion. And I think it is a serious discussion that we must really take our time uh, to bring out the relevant uh, issues to take everything forward. So thank you and, and, and welcome. <laughs>